Hello everybody, this is your algebra teacher, Mr. Fleming, here for another recording. So today we're going to be learning about factoring quadratics. So quadratics is just a word that means it's an equation with x squared. So the two patterns that are most important when factoring a quadratic are just going to be multiplication and addition. So, you're going to use your knowledge of multiplication and addition to solve these questions. So, factoring goes off of this kind of thing. You, but you, you have that A and B are like whole numbers. And so, you know that you can get to this form, x plus a number, x plus a number, and it becomes this. See, we have addition here, and then we have multiplication here, right? That A times B. So the first thing we're gonna go look at is this x squared plus five x plus six. All right, so the way we factor this is we do something what I call the x method. So we're gonna put this number at the top, which is six, and then we're gonna put this number in front of the x and at the bottom, so that's gonna be that. So. We're going to use multiplication. I'm going to write a little x for that. And then up addition for the bottom. So multiplication at the top, addition at the bottom. So to solve this, we're going to find out what two numbers multiplied together equal 6. And what two numbers added together equal 5. So my first step is I'm going to find the factors of 6. Okay, well I know that 6 could be 6 times 1. Or it could be, what is it, 2 times 3, right? Okay, well, I know that 6 plus 1 is 7, so that's not going to work. But I know that 2 plus 3 is 5. That's our winner. We know that 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So I'm going to do go ahead and write 2 and 3 on the other sides of those x's. And I'm gonna, my answer for this one is going to be uh, x plus 2 x plus 3. Pretty cool, right? So we're going to move on to the next one, which is x squared plus 11x plus 28. Okay, so your first step, as always, is to make an x, right? Okay, so there's our x. Remember that you put the number on the end at the top, which is 28. If you need to remember, we write an x for multiplication. And then the number in the middle, which is 11, no x. And you're going to write a plus for that. So you remember to do multiplication on the top, addition on the bottom. Okay, so now let's list the factors of 28. So 28, let's see. So that would be, you know, you can do 2 and 14. Um, you can also do, let's try 7 and 4. That's another one. So if we do this one, 2 plus 14... That's going to be 16. Nope. 7 plus 4. Oh, 7 plus 4 is 11. So that's our answer. 7 plus 4 is 11. 7 times 4 is 28. So we're going to write 7 and 4 on the side there. Our answer is going to be x plus 7, x plus 4. So we know that this x plus 7 and x plus 4 is equal to the equation up here. Kind of cool, right? All right, so now we're going to make it a little bit more difficult by adding some negatives in there. So our next one, we have x squared plus minus 5x plus 6. And here we have to look at the signs. So we notice we have a negative number in here, but our answer here is positive. So again, we're going to make our x. x. I'm going to write 6 on the top, positive 6, and I'm going to keep this negative at the bottom, writing negative 5 on the bottom. So I can use the same things. So interestingly enough, I see that this is positive, but then this one is negative. So I know that a negative times a negative is going to make a positive. So I can know that both of my answers here should be negative. So if I notice from up here, I know that, you know, 6 is 6 and 1, and then 2 and 3, but we know that their answers are both negative, so I'll just put a 
both negative there. So negative 6 plus negative 1 is negative 7. Negative 2 uh, plus negative 3, aha, negative 5. So that's going to be our answer, negative 2 and negative 3. So our answer is going to be x minus 2, x minus 3. So just a reminder, when you have your last thing is positive and the middle thing is negative, you know that you're going to have like a, a, a minus sign, okay? So moving on to the next examples, we have x squared minus 4x minus 12. Okay, we're going to look at our signs. So our first step is to draw our x. Always draw your x. Then put the number at the end on the top, which is negative 12, and the number in the middle on the bottom, which is negative 4. All right, so in this case, we know that our... That last term is negative, so we know that it's going to be a positive times a negative, right? So, when you look at 12, we can think of a couple positive and negative uh, combinations that will add up to negative 4. All right, well, we know that 12, you can do like 1 and 12, you can do... 2 and 6, you can do 3 and 4, right? These are, these are all the patterns that we can use. So, but in this case, we're going to have like a positive and a negative. So, let's see. If we're getting negative 4, I notice that if I do a negative 6 and a positive 2, that's going to equal negative 4. Perfect. So, I'm going to write 2 over here and negative 6 over here because 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And then 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. So I'm going to put that in parentheses, x plus 2, x minus 6. There you go. So this one's a little tricky. You have to look at the signs and, you know, for example, I know that, okay, this negative 4, and then, you know, if I add 2 to the negative 6, it's going to be that. So you kind of have to use your logic to figure that out. Okay, next one is x squared minus 9x plus 20. As always, draw your x, put the number at the end at the top, which is 20, and the number at the bottom, which is negative 9. Okay, so we know at this point we have a positive number here, but we have a negative number here, so I know my answer should be uh, two negative numbers. So for 20, okay, I could do 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. That's probably it. Okay. And I know both of my answers are going to be negative, so I'll just do that. Okay. Well, ooh, look at this one. Negative 4 plus negative 5 is negative 9. So that's it. You have negative 4 and negative 5. So the answer to this one is x minus 4, x minus 5. Beautiful. Okay, the last one is the trickiest. So we have x squared minus x minus 30. And remember, most importantly, that if you don't see a number in front of the x, you know that's automatically going to be a 1. So you can rewrite this as x squared minus 1x minus 30 if it helps you. But remember that you're, in math, you're always going to see it with no number in front of it. So when you do our x, we're going to put the number at the end of the top, which is negative 30. And then the number in the middle, which we don't have, but we're just going to write negative 1. Okay? So then we look at 30. Also, we know here that we have a negative number at the end here. So it means it's going to be a positive times a negative. So the factors of 30, you can do 1 and 30. You could do 2 and 15. You could do a couple of things. We can also... Um, 6 and 5 is a really good one, 3 and 10. Yeah, so there's there's a bunch of options. So I'm looking at this negative 1, and I'm noticing that this 6 and 5 are one apart from each other. Perfect. So we know it's negative. So maybe if the 6 is negative and the 5 is positive, that's going to equal to negative 1. Beautiful. So we know that it's negative 6 and positive 5. Our answer should be x minus 6 x plus 5. And that is factoring. Best of luck. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you very much.